Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treagle and I'm giving you one more top 10 list for today. And this is going to be my top 10 Bruce Willis movies. You all know Bruce from um, his uh, big time uh, franchise, Die Hard, uh, among other movies. And uh, he's one of the biggest uh, action stars of my generation. And um, so here we go. We're going to celebrate with a top 10 list from uh, uh, Bruce Willis's filmography. Coming in at number 10 is Sin City. Coming in at number 9 is The Sixth Sense. I'm sure this would probably be higher up on some other people's list. Um, I've seen the movie one time. I watched it last year for the first time. Um, although I think it's as good as uh, people hyped it up to be. But it is a still good movie and definitely deserves to be in his top 10 movies. But it comes in at number 9. Number 8 is Pulp Fiction. Again... Another movie that would probably be higher up on people's list. Pulp Fiction to me, it's a good movie. I think it's overhyped. Um, I think I gave it a 7 out of 10, uh, which is a B minus if you're looking for a grade. Um, I thought it was good, but I just I don't think it's that great. And I don't think it's uh, Quentin Tarantino's best work either. Uh, not even close, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah. Number eight is Pulp Fiction. Number seven is Mercury Rising. Number six is The Death Wish Remake. Number five is Nobody's Fool. Number four is Unbreakable. Number three is Look Who's Talking. Look Who's Talking, a fabulous movie. 1989, Kirstie Alley, um, John Travolta. Uh, Kirsty is a single mom who gets pregnant uh, by one of her clients, uh, who is a man whore, basically. He's impregnated all over all New York City. Uh, John Travolta is a cab driver who has an elderly grandpa who has been thrown out of uh, many group homes. Uh, and so they meet because he uses her address uh, to set up residency for his grandpa again. And he ends up babysitting for her after she gives birth to Mikey. Mikey uh, has is voiced by Bruce Willis, and it's it's just a hysterical movie. Um, it did spawn two sequels, which I'm not going to talk about. But this movie uh, by itself is just great, and the comedy is great, and uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, Bruce Willis doing the voice spot on so definitely check out look who's talking uh, number two is die hard uh, i'm sure this will probably be number one on most people's list uh, i will say there is a die hard movie on my number one but it is not the original movie i love die hard uh the original movie it is it's great uh got some quotable lines and uh it's a great christmas action movie and yes, it is a Christmas movie, uh, despite what anybody wants to argue. It takes place during Christmas. In fact, it's Christmas Eve when they're in the uh, Nakatomi Plaza. They're playing Christmas music. We see uh, uh, Santa and everything else. So it is a Christmas movie. But getting back to Die Hard, just, just a phenomenal uh, action movie. Reginald Bell Johnson is one of my favorite characters. Um, actually, he is my favorite character um, in this movie. Uh, you have uh, Hans, who uh, and his uh, uh, buddies are trying to uh, steal some vile things from this building. Um, and they want to also rearrange or arrange uh, the release of some of their uh, buddies from around the world, which doesn't end up happening. But Die Hard is a great movie. It still stands up to this day. Uh, but it just comes in at number two for me. And my number one Bruce Willis movie is, and this is my favorite Die Hard movie too, it is Die Hard with a Vengeance. Die Hard with a Vengeance, uh, besides Bruce Willis, you have Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, 
And you have a gentleman who's going around town bombing buildings um, until he gets the cooperation and full attention of the NYPD. And he wants to play a game with um, Willis, his character, and it's called Simon Says. And um, of course, he's been on suspension. They pull him out from suspension. They send him to Harlem, where he ends up meeting um, Zeus's character, uh, portrayed by uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who was a, sto a store owner. And uh, these two basically have to traipse around New York, uh, playing these different games that involve bombs, and uh, trying to uh, uh, figure out what's their next move. And I, I love this. This is a great action, uh, action comedy heist movie. And uh, it's got a great villain, of course. Um, it's, just, it's just a lot of fun. I really wish these two would have paired up again for another Die Hard movie. I hope they do. If they're going to do another Die Hard movie and make it number six, I hope they pair them together again. Uh, I heard the fifth movie is not that great. I have yet to see it because it is PG-13. You can't have a Die Hard movie and have a PG-13. There's just no excuse for that. But uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance is my favorite Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis movie. And it is my favorite Die Hard movie. So in the comment section below, give me your top 10 Bruce Willis movies. And as always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell icon for all notifications. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And please share these videos on all your social media. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my videos. And as always, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time for some more top tens. Check you later.